My hair is mad whack today. I don't really know how to style bangs, so I don't know why I got them, but here we are. Okay. The first item is this little black dress. It's this crinkle cut, like thin, see-through material. And then it also is that same like pattern crinkle on the like upper part and it's also velvet. It actually is off the shoulder. So I think these little pieces just like hold it up and it just sits off the shoulder. So the velvet kind of makes it seem wintry, but then like the sheer part makes it seem summery. It's really interesting and really comfortable. Like when I wear it, I feel like cool. And that's what I'm going for with my clothes. Like I want to feel some type of way when I'm wearing it. The designer is Han Fang. I looked it up and they did show a couple of collections in New York and different fashion shows and fashion weeks. And yeah, it seems like a cool brand. I don't really think it's around anymore from what I could tell, but it is technically a designer. I saved the tag and it was $7, which $7 for a freaking couture vintage 90s dress is actually amazing. So I'm really happy with this purchase. I think it's awesome. The next item is another dress. This is usually not my style, so it's a little bit out of my comfort zone. I keep trying not to buy like the crazy weird things and only buy what I know I'm going to wear but I think this will actually come in handy at some point in my life. I saw a Gucci campaign where they were all wearing like office workwear for like an office party and it just was really cute so this is what inspired me to get this. That is what inspired me to get this. It has a removable belt and it also has all the tags on it. It's Eliza J. It's from Nordstrom. I don't know why someone wouldn't have just like returned it because there was a bunch of other Eliza J stuff there in the same size. But I just think it's cute. It's like flutter sleeves and it's just, I don't know. I really liked it for some reason. So if something's like calling to you and you feel like you should get it, even though it's like not usually your comfort zone or your style, maybe try it out. That is also the fun of thrifting since you can try things out. And that's really how you find your style, I think. My hair is mad whack today. I don't really know how to style bangs. So I don't know why I got them, but here we are. Okay, next item is another dress and it's full sequins and it's blue and it's also Sherry Hill. So I used to work at a prom dress store too and um, I just knew Sherry Hill is like a really expensive dress brand because my prom dress was Sherry Hill and they just have a lot of beautiful dresses for different events. And I saw this dress and I was like, okay, I really don't need this. I should leave it here for someone who actually does. But then I got the idea to get it. And what I want to do is, well, let me show you it first. It's like kind of, you can see the seam right here. It's like the bra and then the waist. And then it's just like a long skirt. And it's sort of like a mermaid trumpet bottom. What I kind of want to do is cut it and turn it into a jumpsuit and like sew legs. Wouldn't this be so cool? It's like so fun. The back is like really strappy and yeah. Oh yeah, this was $14.99. So this is like a $600 dress for $14. Um, also this one is seven, I forgot to mention that. This is just so fun and so cool. I'm not exactly sure where I'd be able to wear it, but it would be fun for like a photo shoot or just something in life eventually. And I'm so excited for it. I'm really glad I got it. The next item I got is another groovy, funky, fun piece. It's this sweater. It's zigzag and really cool. The edge is like zigzag cut also. And this is something I'm like, okay, do I really need this? Am I gonna wear it? It's kind of crazy, but I'm glad I got this. Also, I've already worn it so many times. It's from this interesting brand I never heard of. Um, but it's super warm and cozy and Groovy. It really reminds me of Missoni, but it's not Missoni, so I just like this a lot. Sometimes you need like a cheerful, good sweater that's not just black. It's something you put on and you feel fun. Okay, these next two pieces are very Eastery and my vibe. I really like pastels a lot, and this, no ma'am, no ma'am. This is so cute. I love this so much. It's like. Grandma, Grandpa, Easter in Miami, 1970. Like, that's what it says to me. It's such a beautiful, beautiful top. It's this textured material. I don't know, just look at it. The buttons, everything. It has some stains and it is really old. The tag is like 
major vintage. I got this at an antique store for $5.50. I remember because I was in awe of how cheap these items were. But I love this so much. At the same antique store, I got this robe. It's so beautiful. It's like teal with lace and it's Christian Dior, Dior Juniors. So fun. There's a bunch of like strings. I kind of took them out because I'm not exactly sure how to work them, but they just go right there to make it fit. It's a size medium, but it fits like an extra small women. So I guess like medium kids is like extra small women's. I don't know. It's really cool. Maybe one day when I have my own place, I'll lounge around walking around in this. At this point in time, I don't see myself wearing it anytime soon, but I knew it was something I didn't want to pass up on, that it's so cool and just, I like building my wardrobe of designer stuff too. So this was $4.50, the other one was $5.50. It was like less than, it was exactly $10 for these two cool ass items. And that makes me happy to get cool stuff for cheap. I like a discount and I like cool stuff. You don't have to pay so much to have cool things, especially designer stuff. And that is what I'm here to tell you. Don't know what this voice is. Like, I don't know who I'm talking to. <laughs> Moving into the realm of darker colors, I have this black tank top that's like a slinky, nice material with a gold belt. And then the um, straps have these letters on it. It just says D and G, but it's not like Dulce & Gabbana. It's like G and D. I have no idea what brand this is. It doesn't have a tag, but I thought it was really cool regardless of what it is. Maybe if you guys know, comment below, inform me. I would love to know. Um, but I just thought this was like a fun staple black tank top, like I wear that so often, but it has like fun gold hardware, like just add something to your basic top. Can't remember how much this was, it was probably less than 10. I got it at a regular Goodwill. Now I have a couple of outerwear pieces to show you. The first one is really cool and really fun and kind of part of my western wear vibe. It's this brown leather fringe jacket. There's fringe on the back, bottom, pockets, like sleeves. It's just so fun. I love this. It's by the brand Blank NYC. They have a lot of leather coats and they also have denim, I believe. I got this at Uptown Cheapskate, which is just like a younger um, consignment store for $37.99, but I think this red tag, if I remember, is like 20% off, so it was like 30 something dollars, which is pretty decent for a brand new, like with tags, leather jacket. Um, I haven't worn this yet. I was planning on wearing it in the fall, but I never really got the chance. But it is really cool and something I see myself keeping in my wardrobe for a very long time. Another really staple item that I didn't already own was a plain black blazer. Oh, and this one just so happens to be Burberry. Yes, a beautiful black, pristine condition Burberry coat. I thrifted this for $39.99, but it just so happened to be a 50% off day, so I got this for $20. Yes, $20 for a Burberry black blazer. I love this so much, and I don't see myself ever getting rid of it. It's just a perfect black blazer. I already did a photo shoot in it and turned out like this. If you want to follow me on Instagram to see me wearing these clothes, you can, but if you don't want to, don't. Don't do what you don't want to do. This next item, guys, I'm so happy about. It is probably in my top five favorite things I now own. And as I just said, a lot of people have a plain black blazer in their wardrobe or a leather jacket. This happens to be the leather jacket of all time. It is beautifully crafted with mini seams multiple different pieces of leather to make a very comfortable, fitting, gorgeous black leather coat. And it is the one and only Gianni Versace. I love this. This makes me very happy. It fits like a glove. The inside is lined with mini Medusa heads. It's just so light, so soft, so buttery. Buttery, yes, buttery soft. It is just, guys, look at this. The buttons, oh, just everything about this. It's absolutely fabulous. I love this. I paid $120, but if you go on the internet, most people are selling it for around five to 600. And I think $100 for a leather jacket this size 
and in this perfect vintage quality is a great deal but the fact that it's a Versace is just everything everything guys I love this coat and I also love about it is the memory attached with it me and my mom were shopping just going into different stores we'd never been in before and we popped in the store and I saw this and I just had to get it so this is always gonna remind me of a carefree fun day shopping with my mom and that's just like an item you can take away with the memory lasts forever and this it just is a good piece. I'm gonna have this forever. I'm never getting rid of this. I love it. I hope it fits me forever so I can never <laughs> gain or lose weight. While we're on the Versace train, the next three items are all Versace. I say Versace, but I know it's Versace, so I'm trying to pronounce things correctly, just like Burberry and not Burberry. Burberry. I'm trying, guys. Anyways, this pair of jeans is dead stock, brand new, with tags, vintage Versace. And they are amazing. They're beautiful, they're everything. The grommets are all Medusa heads, and the back is obviously in perfect condition. I bought these thinking, wow, I'm gonna own like brand new Versace jeans. Then when I got them home, I realized I own brand new Versace jeans. And I'm way too afraid to ever wear them or take the tags off, so I think I'm just going to keep these pristine and just collect them and keep them safe. Um, maybe one day I'll wear them or pass them down. I'm not sure. And that's kind of where I feel odd about um, vintage clothes because you want to preserve them, but you also want to wear them. And that can be said about designer stuff too in general. It was like, you know, expensive and you want to keep it and take care of it, but you don't want to buy it and never wear it, you know? So that's like a tricky thing to decide what you want to do with clothes. I think clothes are meant to be worn, but these are just really special. If I remember correctly, I think they were $100 on eBay plus shipping. So honestly, most jeans these days are $100, so I don't think that's like crazy. This next pair is, mm, I love this. This is probably, this pair of jeans and this pair of jeans are my absolute favorite jeans of all time. And I got them around the same time. Also, like I'm talking all time. Like they fit better than any pair of jeans I ever had in high school, like anything. But anyways, let me show you these. They're also Versace. This button is a little different than the other one. And it also has this here and the back is different. So they're all from a different like time period. Um, I would say these are probably 80s or 90s. And also in the photo, when you buy jeans online or vintage jeans in general, the sizing and like the shape is really hard to figure out what you're buying. These look like skinny jeans, but they're actually straight leg kind of boot cut-ish. Um, but that's actually the trend now of style of jeans. So I'm really happy with these. They fit amazing and all of the buttons are Versace Medusa heads and it's button fly. They fit really, really well. And I love the color. They are so, so soft. They're just, oh, I love these. Like these two items, wow, just wow. I, obviously, my favorite designers are probably Dior, Versace, maybe my Sony. Lately, I really love my Sony. Okay, this pair of jeans are so quintessential Versace. Let me show you. Okay. Okay. Hello. Are we seeing the same pair of jeans right now? They also have little zippers on the bottoms. Oh my God. I love these. They're just so, f I, I'm trying not to cuss, but they're so freaking cool. I got them from the real real. So they still have a tag on it and they came in like a dust bag and everything. And, um, the price of these, you guys, those last ones were also a little over 100. I paid $10 for these jeans, $10. They were originally 50, which is really weird because they should have been a lot more, but I also had 20% off plus a $30 coupon code. So the total was literally $10. I paid $11 shipping. So altogether 24 something for these jeans. Yeah, it just goes to show that if you know how to shop, 
you can get beautiful couture designer jeans um, for literally ten dollars. So, welcome to my channel. I have a thrift tip video, <laughs> but these are just literally. I will never get rid of these. These three right here are my triplets that I won't be letting go of ever. I love them. Also, they're all different sizes. It is so hard to figure out what vintage sizing means because like a 27 is really like a 24. It's very confusing. So I would just look at measurements. That's my advice for buying denim online is definitely check the measurements and see and measure yourself and see how it's gonna fit. I actually didn't even do that with this pair because I kind of just knew they were gonna be meant for me. So, yeah. Okay, last two pairs of jeans. I needed a pair of black looser mom jeans that's why i bought these versace ones but then i got scared to wear them as we know so when i found this pair i was really happy they're vintage bongo jeans i've never had bongo jeans um but these are really cool they fit great they're a little loose but they're just like tighter in the waist and then a little bit looser on the um, leg they're like straight leg jeans i guess they taper down a bit it's so hard to show jeans but you'll see on the try on portion but these are a great vintage pair of jeans so i really like these and i've already worn them so many times and i found these at a thrift store for like 2.99 i think the last pair of jeans i got from poshmark for 25 i think they're just a really beautiful light wash i love light wash pair of vintage Lee jeans. I really like Lee jeans. The more I've gotten, the more they like fit better. I used to be such a Levi's girl. If you guys have seen my channel before, I used to only buy like Levi's and now I realize how poorly they fit and I really only go for like Versace or Lee or just any brand that actually fits and these fit like a dream. They're a zipper fly with just like a snap button, which I don't love. I wish they were more of like the button that goes through the hole rather than a snap because the snap actually unsnaps often. I'm sure that's a probably really easy fix that I probably should invest in because I love these jeans and I will be keeping them forever. They're a straight leg, kind of skinny. When I first bought them, they're a little looser and now they're getting a little tighter. So I like them a lot. Love them actually. These are like my favorite pair of jeans. This pair and this pair are like my two favorite jeans of all time. So yeah, that is everything guys. And I feel like I feel like jeans are the hardest thing to find. And the fact that I found so many good ones in such a short period of time, I'm so happy. I love denim, <laughs> so I love fashion, but jeans are like my go-to staple good outfit. So that is the end of the haul video. If you stuck through, thank you for watching my struggle bangs and listening to me talk when I haven't filmed a video in so long and don't know what I'm saying. Um, also, I hope you guys were happy to see a thrift haul because that's what everybody always asks for. So I finally filmed one. Um, I can't say when the next one will be because I'm trying not to buy more clothes and <laughs> try to just only buy what I really love, like I said. Um, and right now I'm really satisfied with everything that I've been buying, so try not to buy anything new, but let's be real, I'll probably buy something soon. Um, I love you guys, and I hope your 2020 is going, fuck, what year is it? I hope your 2021 is going swell. I love you all, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.